Welcome back. We talk a lot about identity theft in our consumer alert stories, but have you ever thought about keeping your child's information safe? As it turns out, kids are actually targeted more than adults. So what can parents do? Jai Cunningham tonight with the answer in our consumer alert report. Your youth is supposed to be some of the happiest times of your life, not a care in the world. But one statistic is sure to change that view. Child identity theft is actually 51% higher um, than adult identity theft. You heard that right. Kids are more likely to be targeted, and that's for a few reasons. Children have a, a blank credit, basically. So if you think about it, you know, kids don't have credit cards or past debts or past loans. So their credit's clean, relatively. So what they'll do is they'll take the child's social security number and pair it with um, fictitious names or birth dates just to create an ID. So how can you keep your Keiki's ID safe from harm? Well, here are a few helpful tips. Try and limit how much you have to use your child's social security number. Stay alert. Those offers you get in your child's name for a credit card could mean that social security number has been used. And when your child turns 16, do a credit check. At that age, you'd have enough time before college to get their financial house back in order. It's a little tough right now because, you know, your social security number is used for so many different things as an ID. Um, but trying to limit that use is a best practice. And if a place asks for a child's social security number, um, it's not a bad thing to ask if any other form of ID or I identification number is accepted there. If you have a consumer concern or are interested in becoming an Action Line volunteer, give us a call at 591-0222. Weekdays between 11 in the morning and 1 in the afternoon, or send an email to actionline at kh12.com. Jai Cunningham, KH12 News.